Hi guys, welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you the easiest way to deploy your Django application to AWS. So to do this, we're going to be using a platform called Zit. So Zit allows you to easily deploy your web applications to the web. So you can deploy not just Django applications, but Flask applications, Next.js applications, and a lot more that you can see on their website. So there'll be a link in the description below where you can check out Zit. And this is the application I'm going to be deploying. It's a basic to-do list app that I built with Django some time back. And this is the GitHub repository here. And I'm going to walk you through how I'm going to use this GitHub repository to deploy this particular Django project on the web. So the first thing that we want to do is to come to zit.co. So once you come to zit.co, you're going to see everything you need to know about the website. And what you just need to do is to click on sign up and create a new account using github or whatever provider you want to use but i already have an account so i'm just going to click on login and once i click on login it's going to log me in so i'm going to you can log in or sign up with github google or metamask i created my account with github so i'm just going to log in with github and now what it's just going to do is to redirect me to my account so i'm still on my onboarding process so it's going to ask you a few questions about what you want to use the app to do and all of that. So you can just answer that and, you know, it's going to take you straight to your dashboard. So for example, right now I am, it tells me to deploy a project. So from here, I'm just going to deploy my project straight, my first project. Now it says deploy a sample or I've got my own. Since I have my own project on GitHub, I'm just going to click on I've got my own and I'm going to go to deploy my repo. So it's going to ask me what project source I want to use. So do I want to take the project from GitHub? Do I want to use a Docker image or am I trying to deploy a managed database? In this process, I'm trying to deploy a Django project from my GitHub repo. I'm going to click on that and then it's going to tell me to connect my GitHub repository. I'm going to click on that and what it's going to do is that it's going to ask to connect this and I'm just going to click on all repositories and I'm going to click on install. So it's just going to install Zit on my GitHub so Zit can have access to my GitHub repositories. So in my case, I'm going to deploy this to-do list app right here. This is one I want to deploy. And as you can see, it has already seen it as a Python project. So I'm just going to click on deploy. And it's going to ask me if it's, I want to use a serverless or I want to deploy my application to Zit using, you know, Docker or Kubernetes clusters. So what I'm just going to do is to click on this serverless and then it's going to ask me for my configuration and the listening port. So the listening port for you know, Django is 8,000. So I'm going to change that to 8,000. I'm just going to click on continue. So now it's going to ask, it's going to say overview and deploy. And it's just telling me the repo that is trying to deploy the project name and the app name. I'm just going to leave everything as default and I'm going to click on continue. So now it's going to ask me to connect to an infrastructure. So since we are using since we are using AWS, we are just going to click on AWS. But if you want to use Google Cloud or, you know, if you don't have any cloud provider, or you can just click here also to recommend the cloud providers you want them to have on their platform. So I'm going to click on AWS. And in here, it says to give Zit permission to deploy to AWS, you need to paste your AWS account ID. So what I'm going to do is to log into AWS. So you need to make sure you have an AWS account. You're going to log into AWS. And I'm going to show you how to get your account ID quickly. So I'm going to log into AWS right here. This is my AWS logged in. And I'm just going to come to this right top right corner right here. And I'm going to see my account ID and I'm just going to copy that. So once I have my account ID copied, I'm going to come in here and paste it. And I'm going to click on add. So what it's just going to do now, after, as you can see, it says AWS account added but it has not been connected, so I need to authorize it. So I'm going to authorize it by clicking on this button right here. And then it's going to redirect me to AWS to create a stack. And then once we have that done, everything should be working perfectly. So what I'm just going to do is to scroll down. I'm just going to click on this and everything is just going to leave it as default. We don't really need to change anything if you don't want to. So I'm just going to click on create stack. And that is going to take a couple of seconds to create. And so as you can see, it says that it has been created successfully. So if I come back here to Zit, 
you can see that it gives us the connected check mark now i'm just going to click on deploy now so once i click on deploy now it's going to start the deploy event process as you can see everything is working successfully and then we're just going to wait for this to deploy it says build pending we're going to wait for everything to deploy and then we're going to check it out so as you can see it says that our project has been deployed successfully and then it takes us to our dashboard for that project automatically now we're going to come into settings and what we're going to do is under where we see build and run we're going to come into run command and in run command we are actually going to write python manage dot pi and i'm going to say run server and if you know django you're going to know that when you want to run your project you have to use this particular command to run that project so what we are doing is that we are just telling zit what command it should run whenever it wants to run our particular project so when we say python manage.py run server what we need to specify is the port we want it to run on so i'm going to say 0 0.0.0.0.0 8000 i remember earlier when we were setting up the port we put 8000 as the port so what we're just going to do is to now click on save so once we click on save, it says build settings save. It's just going to build that again for you. And then once that is built, you'll be able to see your application live on the web. So as you can see right here, everything has been deployed successfully. And if we come to this green button right here, it says visit active deployment. If I click on that, it's going to open up our project on this link. So as you can see now, the project is live on the web. So this is the basic project I built and as you can see everything is showing on here and this is a link that you can use to visit this particular web app. So that was a very easy way of deploying your Django application on the web using Zit. So as you can see the whole process was seamless and it was also free you didn't have to you know do a lot of commands and all of that all you just needed to do was to follow the process I showed in this video and you have your Django project live on the web. So once again, visit zit.co or click the link in the description below and check it out. And you know, you can also deploy different type of projects, not only Django, uh, they have compatibility for Flask, Next.js and a lot more on their website. So I hope you enjoyed everything we did in this video. If you did, please don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe. And thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.